Hello and welcome back to Terror Hand, where um, yeah, we have just recently finished a well, pretty successful mining operation, if you ask me. Um, well, at least successful. Uh, we're gonna check out how successful that was, because uh, let's take a look at what we gained from all that mining and toiling away down here in the mine. Uh, let's see. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. It's 200 tin ores now, and 130 silver ores. Oh, I am a bit disappointed with the amount of copper that we got. The amount of tin and silver is just mind-blowing, really. So, yeah. Now, I did go ahead and uh, I set up all the stockpiles over here for us to start looting it. So, our military down there should be quite busy with that for uh, the coming few days. But, um... But you know, another thing that I think we should do as well, so that you know they'll they'll have their work cut out for them. Because after the looting, we also need a lot of torches uh, built here. So I'll go ahead and I'll build those now, so that we don't have to look after our military for quite a while. So. Alright, that should keep them busy for quite a while. Um, so, now that we have taken care of our military and we know that a mining operation has been very successful, the next thing that I want to do is uh, start preparing over here for a big and major overhaul of our farming area and our groves and all that. So, yeah, that's what you see over here. We're gonna dismantle all these would-be buildings. Um, so that we have all this space to ourselves here and well that's gonna take quite a while but we should get to it so without much further ado i think it's time that we do our well known and uh, very useful trick of time warping so here it goes Alright, so that's all the buildings removed. Now you might have noticed that I did change something in the uh, sandwich production, but that is because I noticed that our drinks, you know, were going down. Because, uh, you know, from last video, I remember that we had somewhere around 200 drinks, and now we are at like 160. So I think that is because of all our cooks are constantly being held up by making all these drinks. And why is there... Oh. <laughs> yeah, alright. So maybe I should put that off the suspend as well. That might speed up the production too. But yeah, that was really, you know, what I was noticing. And I thought as much. And um, yeah, see? Drink count should be quite stable now again. So, good. Um, another thing that we need to do is uh, remove these stockpiles over here. However, the thing is that right now we're building bags on these stockpiles. And um, if I remove these designations, then, well, you know, <laughs> all those bags will be put over here, but they got the wrong stuff in them. So, the moment I do that, there's gonna be a lot of hauling jobs, and it might cause the game to bog down like crazy, you know, and stutter and all that crap. But um, we'll have to see how it does. I mean, if it gets too worse, uh, I'll just restart it and uh, I'll make it so that you won't notice it. But yeah, just you know, thought I'd point it out there. So let's see how the game will handle it. Wow, no crashes so far. <laughs> so it seems that everything's alright. 
Good. Well then. Um, so while our gnomes are busy hauling, we also got these stairs over here. And uh, I'm going to remove those because I want the whole uh, above ground to be just a smooth patch of dirt. Smooth and dirt. <laughs> So, yeah, but these stairs need to be gone. Uh, we, our gnomes can enter the fortress uh, via different ways anyway. There's a stair over here, look. And they can enter over here as well. So, even though that might, you know, lower the uh, efficiency of our gnomes a little bit. Um, well, I don't know. It's not much I can do about it right now. We're going to change the underground layout at some point anyway. You know, give it a big overhaul so it's more efficient anyway, so... So, well, with that statement out there, um, what I also need to do is um, farm a few of our, or forage a few of our farms designations that I removed. Because we got these farms, you know, in our farm building now anyway, I thought that we don't really need them anymore over here. So, but yeah, I think right now it is time to start working on our new grove and farm layout and all that. So, oh. And we get rudely disturbed here. But I have every bit of confidence that whoever you are, the general, will win from the skeleton. So we're not going to bother with it too much. Um, yeah, skeletons are really weak anyway. Anyway, um, so here we go. We'll set up the new layout now. Alright, I think that right now is a nice moment to take a look at what our military is doing. But before we do all that, I want to know how the grass is growing through our enlarged scop- Ooh, it has actually made progress over here, look at that. Grass is growing, very nice. So, soon it will just reach this point over here, I have no doubts about that. So, yeah, all it needed really was just a bit more dirt to grow on. Good. So, and this is the new layout. And look at this. Freaking massive pine grove. <laughs> That's why it's called XXXXXX and then some more L. <laughs> so, yeah, that's uh, pretty massive. And it's a good thing that we've been buying these clippings because we can only fill this up barely. Look, we got 236 clippings and there's space for 210. And uh, this is like the birch grove, it's a bit larger. And then there's these two uh, apple and orange wood groves. Now, right now, all this area is just, well, <laughs> it's not really cleaned up, but you know, th this will get cleaned up at some point, and then we will be able to enlarge our wheat farm all the way up here. I'm gonna hold off uh, with that till, well, you know, till our gnomes are. A little bit less busy, so... And we also got this stuff to farm here, you know, these strawberries that have grown. So, but we'll do that later. For now, I want to know how our military is doing. Are they done yet with all the hauling? And the building? Uh, it seems that they have actually done the building first. And it seems also that we have used up all our torches. Have I put too many build orders down? That could very well be the case. I didn't really keep check of the counts, so yeah, see there's one torch over there, though on the other hand, we might as well remove a few over here, I mean I'm thinking that this one over is not all that needed, so we'll deconstruct this one, and uh, that one should go over here, then I mean if they didn't finish that torch, 
I'm quite curious to what other torches didn't get finished. Well, over here it seems that we've built all the torches that I wanted to. Uh, so we're just short of one torch, really. I mean, <laughs> okay. So that should get sorted. Um, in terms of stuff that is dying around, yeah, they're not finished yet. So what we'll do is um, we will just uh, focus a little bit more over here. I'll give them another day and that should be it, really. Ooh, and the mant has been spotted. Very, very scary. Not. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, good. We'll uh, warp time some more. And, yeah, you know, enlarge this wheat farm now. Alright, I think our military should be done now, really, with all the hauling. Let me see that. Yeah, look, see, they're now just wandering around aimlessly. So, good. Um, just to be sure, let's do a quick check on the whole hauling of things. Oh, look at this. Nice and empty. The lightning is still okay, even with me having removed the torch. Good. Everything's empty now. I like it. So, we will close the mine shaft for, uh, well, an undetermined period of time. I don't think it will be all that long, but for now it should be good. So, that should get built pretty quickly. And afterwards, we will start opening up the uh, underground compound. So, I'll remove these. Oh. <laughs> okay, thanks for saving it, game. <laughs> Uh, we'll remove these designations for now so that um, once we open up the compound, our gnomes will be able to grab the stuff over here. So, Stone Wanderers, go and train. And, um, some nomad, or, uh, nomad, <laughs> uh, gnome, open up the underground compound. Good. Now then, is this on. Ah, oh, no wonder the dirt wasn't getting collected. Let's take a quick look at the other stuff that might be on suspend. Oh, so that is not. Um, this one over here, by the way, I also want these blue blocks to be made. So we'll put this to the same amount, really. Craft 128. And I'll tell this stockpile to accept. Oh, yeah, I can't really, but I, it should be set to accept all the blocks, really, so that any new type will also be stored automatically. So, good. Um, then there is... Wait, why is this being red? Um, what was this for kind of... Ooh, ooh, this is a bronze sliver. All right, so we'll put Cyber to also always smelt all the bronze bars from slivers. So that should um, free up the forge, really. Damn it, <laughs> I didn't even notice it. We could have made a much more progress with uh, smelting all the loots, really. But uh, well, it is what it is, really. Can't do much about it. Now, another thing that uh, I want is... Um, I want, like, uh, you know, a few more bars made for, uh, well, just pre-production, really. First of all, we're going to crank these up to four. And, um, I'm also just gonna queue up like uh, two malachite bars. Uh, any coal will do. But um, two malachite bars and also two silver bars, really. Because uh, we got a lot of this stuff now, and I wanna have at least some in, well, you know, just have it in, in stock so that if we need to do something with it, we can. So, good. Alright, now that should keep Cyber busy for quite a while. That is, if he ever wakes up. And, um, yeah, now, I mean, this is not the definitive size for a farm, really, but, well, you know, there's still a lot of stuff over here, and I want to have it cleaned up a little bit before we start with, um, you know, expanding it to over here as well, because this is also where it's going to end up in the end. Now, another thing, you know, that um, I want to do is I want to switch around the um, Stone Wanderers with the Violence Violators of Cobra. So we'll do that because 
I think, I just have a hunch that with a kingdom's worth of this much, we should really get nomads. At least, well, you know, I think that um, that's wishful thinking, but I don't think it's, you know, I think, wow, well, that we sh really should get them. Because I've taken a look at that sheet and uh, we're really on the low end of the spectrum, so. Good. Now, I also need to change the rooms around and I'll do that now quickly. I like that, good. So, um, yeah, and another thing, we have all these mushrooms down over here. Wait, what's this? Mushroom plant. Oh, so that's what they look when they're not being worked on. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> I didn't even know that. And they look quite, well, big, if anything. It's a massive mushroom. Uh, and I'll also put, like, our brewers to make, um, no tea from these mushrooms because we got these mushrooms we might as well just do something with it right make some nice mushroom tea and i hope that our gnomes <laughs> won't go start spacing about now a bit of nice tea is always good i approve of tea so uh, yeah let's let's build a few more barrels for this tea as well because that's what we do with tea we store it in a barrel <laughs> not in a cup or <laughs> anything no in a barrel I think that three should do, really, and, um, oh, damn it, I mean, you're making so many sandwiches, how many do we have of these things? Quite curious to that, let's uh, take a look, food, we got 19 sandwiches, so we're not even keeping up with all that, so that's not so good, <laughs> because I still see our drink supplies going down. So you know what, I'll actually put this on suspend till we got another cook really. Cause, uh, well you know, I want drinks as well. And I saw these, you know, we were at 160 at the start of the video and now it's 100. So yeah, that's definitely not the right direction if you ask me. So Good, now then. Um, Stone Wanderers, yeah, you lot are training up there. What I'm gonna try and do is see if I can seal these guys off already. Huh? See if that will work. So, let's see. I mean, this is a bit, you know, this part here really needs improving because, um, well, you know, it's quite easy for a gnome to just wander in here and this is not really, well, you know, <laughs> the most efficient part of the fortress, but we'll have to see. See if, yeah, look, see? And then you'll see that it, it gets built right now from the wrong side of the uh, fortress, you know, so, oh, well, maybe not, actually, thinking about it, yeah, see, that was what I was afraid of, so we'll fiddle around with this for uh, a little bit, till we got this right. Hmm, it seems that in terms of building things, <laughs> we are not doing so well. Why is everybody doing that no building gets done at all? And why is this grass not spreading as well? A lot of things not going how I like it. Hmm, you know what, maybe these floor tiles are bugged and uh, we'll just have to replace a few. See how that works. I mean, maybe that will do it. Uh, but this is uh, not really... The way it should be. I mean, I want this square, you know, the compound to be opened up, but if I do that, then we're gonna have uh, this over here open up as well. And that will mean that a lot of our nodes will start rushing to the outside again. This is gonna be bloody annoying, so there's two ways I can go about this. Or I can try and fiddle with this wall till we finally got it right which might be like too late for a nomad, or we're gonna set it up in a way that no gnomes will go into the compound other than our military, and then we'll have our military. Uh, crap, it's gonna be a 
nightmare to get pulled out. You know what? We might, what we might want to do actually is um, see that we get uh, the violence violators of Cobra to do it. And they should be quite capable of doing that. Now, what am I gonna do? Uh, oh, I'm gonna replace the floor now. Because why ever replace this gate over here, right? <laughs> Yeah, I think though that the violence violators of Cobra are now gonna replace this um, this dirt over here. Good. Now I just hope that I don't trap anybody inside here. That's not supposed to be there. Like you, uh, me. I mean, <laughs> uh, stocking items, hauling. Yeah. So you're gonna. Let's not do that. So, right now, you should turn around. Oh, you do, actually. Alright. Oh, that's actually... That's not so bad. I mean, we can set uh, all these gnomes to... Ooh. <laughs> that was just in the nick of time. So you're gonna stock an item. To which stockpile? And this one. Well, we'll suspend that one, too. And now you should move back. You do. Alright. So, that's, that's not so bad. Look at that. Perfect. So, yeah. Oh, that's nice. So, we can put this off the suspend. It wasn't so hard. I just <laughs> needed the right method, really. We'll put the violence of violators of Cobra. Sounds pretty good, actually. <laughs> uh, we'll put them to a train here and done. Done, done, done. Now, we can have the stun wanderers open up the gate to the compound over here. And maybe they can see some action again against different foes as well. I'm not gonna send them out there just yet, but we might wanna, you know, have them face off against a few goblins or anything. I mean, all these uh, golems and skeletons, they don't make for a match for our elite troops, so... Yeah, uh, but we'll have to see. Now then, for the rest, um, there are a few things... That we need to do well the main thing really is a great hall and um yeah that will be that will require quite a bit of work so we might as well just go ahead and give that a go um yeah i'll uh, i'll come up with a nice layout for this great hall so yeah let's do that Um, you know what, I'm actually gonna do this for the next video, because uh, this is gonna take a freaking crap load of time. And I'll do this off screen and I'll present you a nice layout, because, um, yeah. <laughs> so, um, anyway, look at this. It did indeed seem that the dirt tiles over here were bugged, because now that we've replaced the floor, all of a sudden it has spread uh, some more this grass. So, good for us. Now then... I mean, we might as well grab the opportunity right now to um, haul in some stuff. Especially that stuff that sent, did send our nomads to the outside uh, last time. So that's what we'll do. We will uh, we will fix that right now. Because I don't mind if there's like corpses and whatever else lying outside. But, you know, the other things like the clay, for example, that was really annoying. So, you know what? Uh, oh no, we can't put everything in there because there's also stuff from the merchant. But uh, let's see here. So the ore is something that we can't have. Yeah, so we'll just untake this. I mean, we don't really need that. And then we'll just put everything else in here so that I'm at least sure that there's nothing lying outside when we close down the compound again. So we'll put <laughs> everything. Wow, okay, maybe not tools. No, tools we don't need over there. And the same really for gear. We only need the worn stuff in there, but... And they should... Yeah. Right now, they should... The Stone Wanderers, really, they should start hauling everything inside that they can find. Oh. And oh. <laughs> Um, so, apparently, <laughs> we are up against some enemies. Let's see how this goes. 
Well, it seems to be going our way then. Goblin has died. <laughs> That's always a good thing. Another goblin has died. And I think these goblins... Oh, well, you on the other hand, you wear bronze gear. So where are your skills? Uh... You don't have anything equipped. You only got a breastplate. <laughs> That's. Well, I think you came with a hammer, though. But yeah, we're murdering these goblins. Pretty, pretty effectively. Though you can take quite a beating, it seems. But yeah, good. All right. So that was a nice and quick little victory that we got there. And right now, uh, what should happen is that our gnomes should start grabbing all the stuff over here that. Causes our other gnomes to run outside when we open the compound and the fortress at the same time. So, good. We will just leave them to their own devices for now till they are just wandering around aimlessly. So, we'll speed time up. Balls right now, yeah, look, this is the thing that I was afraid of that will happen, you know, right now they're just moving all the stuff from the uh, market stalls in here, which is not what I want, so, yeah, look, clippings, I don't need you in there, because I think it's the clippings who are causing all this stuff to happen, see, yeah, oh, and now it's all the corpses going inside, so that's not a problem, really. Maybe we actually need to enlarge that extra stockpile. Uh, we'll have to see though. Oh, so we're up against a few mans, and it looks like this man is actually missing quite a few things. Okay, maybe not. I thought uh, that you did not come with antennas. Alrighty, so yeah, we got a man's raid on our ass and um, Stone Wanderers, I need all of you to murder them right now because um, with the soul over here, it's gonna take a pounding. I mean, three mans against one. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna end so well. Though, then again, he has 44 in hammer skill, so we'll have to see how this goes. So we're up against three mans now. Oh, and look here, here the rest comes. I mean, yeah, <laughs> so now I'm pretty confident in us beating the bats. Really? Yeah, this should this should be in the back. The three manned workers, that is quite a hefty army. But the man has died. So that's good. So one man down, really. That's man's blood? I thought man's couldn't bleed. Wow, oh, and <laughs> you're, oh man, you're screwed. But look at these stats, I mean, these mans, they're pretty tough, but they're no match for us. We pretty much owned them here. We showed them who's boss. Good, so, another victory. Let's see who got these kills, because this was, well, actually, I mean, we had, like, two big fights here. We had one against the mans, it's Zero Kin got a kill. And with a soul got another kill, crushing the brain. Ouch. <laughs> yeah, that sure makes uh, for a non-functioning man, <laughs> I can assure you. And over here, Adrian uh, um, got another kill as well, crushing the heart. So yeah, all in all pretty good. And you know what, let's do a quick kill count of what our military got, right? So let's just take a look. Uh, we got... Yeah, let's see here. So, uh, oh, you guys, yeah, <laughs> I sh maybe I should assign you to a training grounds, right? And then you won't be idling. Oh, okay, so apparently <laughs> you're idling when you're training. Huh, interesting. Didn't knew that, but alright. Oh, and another thing actually that we need to do is we need to set up a stockpile over here for this uh, new blue rock that we got. So blue rock stuff I'll put it to prior 7 but we do need it to kind of like be over here and not down in the in the ground compound but <laughs> I'm getting distracted again um, so let's take a look at the soldiers and see who got the most kills uh, well you don't have any <laughs> so yeah no kills for madame hero squire and V he got one skeleton 
kill. But they're still so more or less in training, so that's all right. And then zero kin. You've got two ogres, two mans, and four goblins. That's ten kills in total. That's not bad. With this all, you also got ten kills. One ogre less, but one more man. So yeah, you guys joined the Sun Wanderers more or less at the same time as well. So now then, let's go to the general first. They got 29 kills. That's not bad at all. And he even killed beetles and the whole nine yards. But no, I mean, oh, this is going to be a good one. 47. I mean, he is known and feared among the goblins of the Shown Land. Because, damn, he killed 24 of it. Of them, I mean, wow. That's crazy. Pretty good. So, on that note, I'd say join me next time. To find out what we're gonna do with the Great Hall of Terror Hand, which right now is worth 24. We're gonna enhance this quite a bit next time when we play more No Moria.